All right, so for the first section, we are going to do find trig ratios with radicals. So for this question, we have to find the exact value of tangent of A in simplest radical form. So let me screenshot this thing so I can write on it. Okay, so for this, you kind of need to remember uh, SOHCAHTOA, which I hope is something that you guys have heard of before. Um, oops, let me write clean. Okay, there you go. So, uh, to, uh, okay. So in case you've never seen SOHCAHTOA, uh, write it down and this is what it stands for. The SOH part stands for sine uh, angle is equal to, let me zoom in, <laughs> is equal to opposite. That's the O over H, hypotenuse. Okay, so this is what the so and SOHCAHTOA stands for. S for sine, O for opposite, H for hypotenuse. Then the CAH, the C stands for cosine. So cosine of theta is equal to A stands for adjacent over H, which stands for hypotenuse. So this is the ka of the SOHCAHTOA. <laughs> So C for cosine, A for adjacent, H for hypotenuse. And then last but not least, there's the TOA. So T stands for tangent. And then the O stands for opposite. Over the A stands for adjacent. So the TOA stands for tangent of theta is equal to opposite for the O, A for the adjacent. Okay, so I'll give you guys like five seconds, 10 seconds to write this down. Hopefully it is something you remember, hopefully it's with you, but if you were not taught this before, that's okay. Now you're learning it. So get it down and then we'll do our example problem. Okay, so let's zoom out so that we can see our problem again. Oops. I meant to do that. Okay, find the exact value of tangent A in simplest radical form. So when they say tangent A, the A refers to this corner. So we're talking about this angle, okay? Because that's the corner of A and it says tangent A, so they're referring to the corner of the angle at A. And so for um, this angle, you get to label these three sides. So, on the other side, the far away side, this is the opposite. Well, I don't know why my P's look really weird. This is the opposite side because it's literally on the far away side of the angle A that we are talking about. Angle A being our reference angle, which is the angle we are talking about. So the opposite side is all the way across. Adjacent is the short leg that's right next to it. Okay, and hypotenuse is the longest side. So from this angle, we get to label opposite adjacent hypotenuse. And then remember that tangent right over here is opposite over adjacent. So tangent A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And so your answer is 3 fourths. Any questions on this one? Okay, um, if that's the case, then I'm going to enter this in three over four. And let's do another one. Okay, so now we have a cosine screenshot. So cosine of A, so they're talking about the angle A again. So we are still looking at this bottom angle. And so I'm going to label this one the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. It's always the one across from the right angle. Okay, so that's always the hypotenuse. Now we get to label the others as opposite and adjacent. So opposite, go far away, that one. And this one is adjacent, the leftover. Now we're doing cosine. So according to SOHCAHTOA, I'll just write the middle part, the ka, which stands for cosine is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. 
which is what we had on the first slide in case you don't remember. So then if we're talking about cosine of A, we have the adjacent over the hypotenuse. And we should simplify this. <laughs> so five over 10, if you divide the top and bottom by five, which is our greatest common factor, then we would get one half, which would be our final answer. Any questions on this one? Okay, let's see if we can do one more. Okay, I wonder if they're always just gonna give the angle of A. Anybody have one that tells you to do a different angle? Or is it always A? <laughs> okay, so this is our angle. Our reference angle is A. And so once again, this is your hypotenuse and that is your opposite. This is your adjacent. Oops, that was unintentional. I was trying to go like that. Okay, so tangent according to the TOA of Sokotoa, tangent of theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So our tangent A is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. And then you simplify this. Three divided by one is just three. Any questions on this one? I don't like that none of these have radicals. So I'm gonna look for uh, I wanna look for a question where they give me a radical so I can simplify it in the most radical or Simplest radical form. Okay, this one will have a radical in it. Cool. So once again, tangent of A, so TOA. Um, a is over here. That's our reference angle. This is our angle that we're talking about. And so we have hypotenuse opposite is far away. And this one's adjacent. Okay, so tangent is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we have on the opposite side, radical 28. On the adjacent side, six. Well, this one, there's no need to simplify it because your radical is already on top, okay? So this is the simplified form. Um, when it says simplest radical form, the only thing you need to worry about is if like, if you have something like, let's say one over, radical three, it's when you have a radical on the bottom, that's when you want to multiply by that radical on the top and bottom so that you can bring your radical to the top. So if, if this was what we were given as our tangent, then because there's a radical on the bottom, I multiply by radical three, radical three on top and bottom, and then I would get radical three over three. So I know they didn't tell us, or they didn't give me an example to show you where I needed to multiply by the radical on top and bottom, but we have been doing that process for like a couple weeks now. So um, hopefully you guys know how to do it. If you guys don't, just call me over during the separate work time, okay? So on this one, we have radical 28 over six. Radical, radical, there you go, 28 over six. Oops. Did I not do that right? Oh, you know what? We can simplify this. So, so radical 28, uh, let me just write in here. So 28 is the same thing as four times seven, right? So we have um, radical 28 is equal to radical of four times seven inside the radical, and the six just stays as that. And then as far as the four times seven, let's split that into the two radicals. So instead of being under one radical, now they're under two. 
Okay, so this is good. So I actually get to show you some simplification, which is great. <laughs> and it's still over six. And then I'm gonna write on the bottom now. The radical of four, the square root of four is two. So I get uh, two root seven over six. And we can simplify this guy now. So two and the six, you can divide both the top and the bottom by two. And so we get radical seven on the top over three on the bottom. So this should be our answer. <laughs> Any questions? Okay, radical seven over three. It's a bit hard to click up here. Okay, you know what? I'll just delete it all. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Okay, um, so I did four examples, so that should hopefully be enough. And if not, let me know and then I'll come help you. <laughs>